students now we solve the integral log 1 plus a square x square whole divided by 1 plus b square x square between the limit 0 to infinity first we suppose that this integral is equal to i so log 1 plus a square x square whole divided by 1 plus b square x square dx between the limit 0 to infinity is equal to i and suppose that this is the one equation now here we can see that a and b both are independent from x so these are called parameters here if we differentiate this integral with respect to the parameter a so this log will be removed so we differentiate equation 1 with respect to the parameter a so differentiate 1 with respect to the parameter 1 so we get di upon da this is equal to d by da of integral 0 to infinity log of 1 plus a square x square divided by 1 plus b square x square dx. Here we differentiate both the sides with the uh, with respect to the parameter small a. With respect to the parameter small a. Now this ordinary differentiation d by dA goes inside the integral sign. This converts partially that is del by del a and log 1 plus a square x square divided by 1 plus b square x square dx. Now we can see here we have to differentiate log 1 plus a square x square divided by 1 plus b square x square partially with respect to a. So we can see that this 1 plus b square x square is constant with respect to a because here we differentiate partially with respect to a so this 1 plus b square x square is constant so for this 1 plus b square x square uh, outside the uh, right outside the differential uh, coefficient del by del a so this is 0 to infinity 1 upon 1 plus b square x square del by del a of log of 1 plus a square x square and ds now we differentiate log 1 plus a square x square partially with respect to a so this can be written as when we differentiate log 1 plus a square x square we suppose that 1 plus a square x square is equal to a and we know that log a differentiate partially with respect to a we get 1 upon a so this is 1 upon 1 plus b square x square and here we write 1 upon 1 plus a square x square. Now we differentiate 1 plus a square x square partially with respect to a. So 1 is constant here so differentiation of 1 is 0 and when we differentiate a square x square x square is constant here because we differentiate partially with respect to a and differentiation of a square is 2a we can see here when we differentiate log 1 plus a square x square with respect to a uh, we know that differentiation of log x with respect to x is 1 upon x so differentiation of log 1 plus a square x square partially with respect to a can be written as 1 upon 1 plus a square x square now we differentiate 1 plus a square x square partially with respect to a so 1 is constant so differentiation of 1 is 0 and a square x square differentiate partially with respect to a so x square is constant and when we differentiate a square with respect to a this is 2a now here we can see that this is 2a x square divided by 1 plus a square x square multiplied by 1 plus b square x square now we integrate this so for this first we and do partial fraction of 2a x square divided by 1 plus a square x square 1 plus b square x square first we uh, do partial fraction of this fraction 
So for this put x square is equal to y. So this can be written as 2ay divided by 1 plus a square y multiplied by 1 plus b square y is equal to capital A divided by first linear factor that is 1 plus a square y plus capital B upon second linear factor that is 1 plus b square y. Here we can see that this 2a x square upon 1 plus a square x square multiplied by 1 plus b square x square. Here we put x square equal to y. So we get 2ay upon 1 plus a square y multiplied by 1 plus b square y. Now we have to do partial fraction. For the partial fraction we write this capital A upon 1 plus a square y plus capital B upon 1 plus b square y. Here capital A and capital B are both unknown. Now taking LCM on the right hand side and solving this, we get 2ay is equal to a times 1 plus b square y plus b times 1 plus a square y. We taking LCM on the right hand side, so denominator on the both sides are cancelled out and the numerator is 2ay is equal to a times 1 plus b square y plus b times of 1 plus a square y. Now we find the value of unknowns capital A and capital B. So for finding this put 1 plus a square y is equal to 0 that is y is equal to minus 1 upon a square. So we put y is equal to minus 1 upon a square in the above we get 2a minus 1 upon a square is equal to a times 1 plus b square minus 1 upon a square plus b times 0. In place of 1 plus a square y we put here 0. So this square is cancelled by this a so this gives minus 2 upon a and in the right hand side 1 this plus and minus minus b square upon a square and b multiplied by 0 gives 0. So this is minus 2 upon a here we taking LCM a square so this a square minus b square and this a cancelled by this square this a multiply the left hand side so we get 2a is equal to capital A times a square minus b square here we can find capital A is equal to minus 2a upon a square minus b square. So here finding the value of the unknown capital A and b we put first 1 plus a square y equal to 0. So y gives minus 1 minus minus 1 divided by a square and put in place of y we put minus 1 upon a square here and here and here y is equal to minus 1 upon a square and in place of 1 plus a square y we put here 0. So 0 multiplied by b gives 0 and here this plus multiplied by minus gives minus so this 1 minus b square upon a square in the left hand side this square is cancelled by a so this is minus 2 by a now in the right hand side in this bracket we take lcm a square so this is a square minus b square now this a cancelled by this square and this a multiplied by minus 2 so this is minus 2a is equal to a times a square minus b square so capital a is equal to minus 2a upon a square minus b square now we find the value of capital B unknown. So for finding capital B, again we put, so for finding capital B, again we put, again we put 1 plus B square Y is equal to 0. This gives Y equal to minus 1 upon B square. For finding value of unknown b, put here 1 plus b square y equal to 0 in the above equation. So from here we find y is equal to minus 1 upon b square. So we put here 2a multiplied by minus 1 upon b square is equal to a times 1 plus b square y is equal to 0 plus b times 1 plus a square minus 1 upon b square. Here this is minus 2a upon b square a multiplied by 0, 0 plus b here 1 
प्लस माइनस माइनस ए स्क्वायर अपॉन बी स्क्वायर सो दिस इज बी टेकिंग एल्सियम हेयर बी स्क्वायर सो बी स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दिस इज माइनस टू ए अपॉन बी स्क्वायर सो दिस बी स्क्वायर कैंसिल बाय दिस बी स्क्वायर सो वी गेट बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू ए डिवाइड बाय बी स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर हेयर इफ वी टेक कॉमन माइनस फ्रॉम बी स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर सो दिस कैन बी टेन एज माइनस टू ए डिवाइड बाय माइनस टेन ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो दिस माइनस इज कैंसिल आउट वी गेट बी इज इक्वल टू टू ए अपॉन ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर नाउ वी पुट वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी इन द एब सो वी गेट टू ए वाई डिवाइड बाई वन प्लस ए स्क्वायर वाई मल्टीफाइड बाई वन प्लस बी स्क्वायर वाई इज इक्वल टू ए हेयर माइनस टू ए अपॉन ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर वन प्लस ए स्क्वायर वाई प्लस बी इज हेयर टू ए अपॉन ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर एंड वन प्लस बी स्क्वायर वाई we put value of capital a and capital b in the above so we get this one now we put here value of y that is x square so this is 2ax square divided by 1 plus a square x square multiplied by 1 plus b square x square in the right hand side we can see here 2a upon a square minus b square is common so we taking here common 2a upon a square minus b square we get here 1 upon 1 plus b square y and in place of y we put here x square this is minus here and in place of y here we put x square so this is the partial fraction of 2a x square divided by 1 plus a square x square multiplied by 1 plus b square x square now we put value of this partial fraction in the above integral di by da so di by da this is equal to integration of 0 to infinity 2a upon a square minus b square 1 plus b square x square minus 1 upon 1 plus a square x square da this is the integral now we see this 2 upon a square minus b square this is the constant so it will be outside the integral sign when we integrate 1 upon 1 plus b square x square so we know that integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square is tan inverse x so the so the integration of 1 upon 1 plus b square x square is tan inverse bx and 1 upon b and in this this is 1 upon a tan inverse ax this is the integral integral of 1 upon 1 plus b square x square is 1 upon b tan inverse bx and integration of 1 upon 1 plus a square x square is 1 upon a tan inverse ax now we put here upper limit then lower limit if we put here upper limit this becomes tan inverse infinity minus 1 upon a tan inverse infinity minus if we put here lower limit so tan inverse 0 minus 1 upon a tan inverse 0 and we know that tan inverse infinity this is equal to pi by 2 so this is pi by 2b minus pi by 2a And tan inverse zero is zero here, so this is zero minus zero. Now we can see here this pi by two is common here, so two a. And factor of this a square minus b square is a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And here pi by two is common here, and taking LCM we get a minus b divided by a b. So we can see here this a minus b cancelled by this a minus b. This two and a. Cancelled by this 2a, so we get here pi by b multiplied by a plus b. So this is the value of di by da. Di by da is equal to pi by a plus b. Now, now we integrate 
now here we can see that di by da is equal to pi by d a plus b so this can be written as di is equal to pi upon b a plus b and here d b da now integrate so we get i is equal to here pi by b is constant and integration of 1 upon a plus b this is log of a plus b and here c is the integration constant suppose that this is equation 2 now we find the value of integration constant for finding the value of integration constant we put a is equal to 0 in the given integral 1 we get i is equal to 0 if we put a is equal to 0 in the given integral 1 uh, because uh, when we put a is equal to 0 so 0 square is 0 0 multiplied by x square that is 0 and 1 plus 0 that is 1 so log 1 is also 0 so the integral i is 0 now we put a is equal to 0 in second we get i is equal to pi by b log b plus c and we know that a is equal to 0 i is equal to 0 and a is equal to 0 pi by b log b plus c so both uh, uh, both value of i will equate so we can write here pi by b log b plus c equal to 0 so c is equal to minus times pi by b log b now we put value of integration constant c in equation 2 so we get i is equal to pi by b log a plus b minus pi by b log b now taking common this pi by b we get log of a plus b minus log of b and we know that log m minus log n that is log m by n so this is log of a plus b divided by b this is the integral of the given this is the value of the given integral thank you